I left home at an early age of 16. Um, my parents had taught me how to work very hard. So I put myself through school, um, high school, working three jobs. Um, I met my first husband at the age of 17 and I started to drink freely then. I was using marijuana, uh, drinking, and that destroyed my life. I lost everything and my parents helped me get out of that situation. Uh, it was seasonal, so after that I was unemployed and I didn't know what to do with myself and I found myself drinking heavily again. And so I noticed that my kids were playing lifelessly with them, uh, with each other. And I looked at my hands and I was holding a bottle of beer and cookies in the other hand. And I just thought, you know, I'm the problem. They're not enjoying their lives. Unfortunately, my husband had committed suicide in 2009, which led me to use to self-medicate and use methamphetamines. While I was in Alaska, um, I was homeless, and this was going on for two years. The Uh, I was still homeless at the time, getting into trouble, getting arrested, trespassing, public intoxication. And I was walking around the, the downtown in Anchorage, Alaska, and I was freezing to death, pretty much. And um, in the early morning, um, a car had drove by and uh, called the ambulance for me. And when the ambulance came, I was uh, not coherent of what was going on. So they took me to the hospital. I stayed there a month due to frostbite on my feet. And during that month, I was able to get help from a psychiatrist and they put me back on the medications that I had been on before in the past that and more um, to get me back to where I should be. I came back to California, went to the mission, and after the mission, I started to look for uh, recovery homes, like uh, sober livings, and I found Amethyst Sober Living. Uh, which is where I'm currently at today. And um, that's how my recovery began. The best part of my life is being able to be reconnected with my family. Uh, my parents are, are happy, you know. Uh, I'm happy that I get to talk to my kids on a day-to-day -day basis before they didn't want to talk to me. My daughter told me that, um, she goes, Mom, I like the new you. And she goes, you're very helpful now. And I like how, she goes, you like being sober, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I do. She goes, that's good, Mom. I have now coping skills that I can use and utilize. I enrolled in school, so now I'm attending Bakersfield College for accounting, and um, this is gonna be my second semester. Well, coming from a minority group, uh, which is Mexican-American, African-American, and American Indian, um, I would suggest that they reach out to the resources that are provided for Bakersfield and the county because I called 211 and 
in calling 211, I let them know that I was homeless. I let them know that I was needing help be, um, getting stabilized with mental health and that I had used drugs in the past and I was trying to stay off drugs. And in doing so, they contacted the RISE team. But the sober living that I'm living at encourages us to go to NA meetings and AA meetings on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they're very uh, encouraging to go to, to stay sober. If you're um, looking for recovery, uh, find a sponsor, uh, work the steps, and it works if you really work it.